bangs, whether you've had them before or it's the first time, can be a tough choice because you always have to think, am I going to be able to style them? And that can be stressful because if you can't style your bangs right, they never look right. In today's video, I am going to show you guys exactly how I style my long curtain bangs so that they look perfect every single time. Keep in mind, this is not my everyday bang styling method. This is what I do when I want my bangs to look their absolute best. Often on most days, I will simply use my round brush blow dryer and blow dry my two sections of bangs at the same way that I'm gonna show you how I do them today, but I don't put in that extra little mile of effort that I'm gonna show you today. And when you put in that little bit of extra effort, you get that little bit of extra style. I'm gonna start off like usual with some hair product. We're gonna do leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna use a little bit of volumizing mousse. Always run your volumizing mousse through your hands so it's more evenly distributed throughout your hair. I'm gonna use a little bit of Olaplex number six on my ends and my mids for optimal smoothness, but I'm not gonna put any of this in my bangs. If you have been here a while, you know I don't brush my hair when it's wet, but I am going to pull my bangs out, my bang-ish area. Now, if you don't get your bangs out absolutely perfectly, it's not the end of the world but you wanna try and get them out as efficiently as possible. I'm actually gonna use my tail comb because that is going to make this easier. I would always rather have a little bit of extra hair that's not my bang as opposed to leaving some of my bang unstyled. So if you're not sure where your bang starts and your layers start and where your bangs end, just get as much hair as you think it might be and add a little extra and there you go. So we'll just leave the rest of it just unbrushed, but I am gonna brush, it's pretty much brushed already, but brush this section. Now, when I do my hair on a normal everyday style, I just rough dry my whole head 80 to 90% of the way, and then I finish off with my round brush, brush blow dryer. Today, because I really want my bangs done really, really well, I'm gonna start with my bangs. You wanna start with your bangs from as wet as possible, not dripping wet, they were in a towel, the hair is not dripping, um, you know, it's just, it's wet, it's not just damp, but it's not soaking, it's not dripping. So you don't want it soaking dripping wet, but you do want it still rather wet, and that's gonna help you control the bangs more. The more that they dry, air dry, rough dry, anything like that, the less they're going to shape for you once you get in there with your styling tool. Uh, so we're going to do it today from wet. And instead of using the round brush blow dryer on my bangs, we're gonna be using a round brush and a blow dryer individually. Um, I can't remember the exact, I think this is, for, yeah, 45 centimeter round brush. This is the Olivia Garden Ionic brush. I love it. It's smooth. It gives a ton of volume and the right brush really does make a difference. You can absolutely use any brush you have, but you're looking for a fantastic one. I really love this brush. I use it on myself. I use it on all my clients and I did link it in my Amazon storefront to make it easy for you to find. So I'm just going to tuck all of my other hair out of the way. If you're really worried about it getting mixed up, you can clip it. I don't usually, but you can do that to make sure it stays all out of the way. And now we're gonna split this hair into two sections, front and back, sort of like that. Perfect, and we're gonna start with the front section, so I'm just gonna lay that back. We're gonna start with the front section and we're gonna blow dry it all around and down towards the base. Lifting it up at the roots, we get lots of volume, lifting up, and pulling away. You wanna make sure with your round brush, like we've talked about in other round brush videos, that you do lots of pulling so you get lots of tension. Not pulling on tangles, but just you don't wanna loosely kinda of go through your hair like this. You want to get it in and really get a nice pull. That, that way you're stretching and shaping the hair as you brush.
remember that round brushing with a round brush and your blow dryer is definitely a more advanced skill and if you're still learning to work with your hair this could be very tricky but don't let that scare you from trying it's a very small section of hair you don't have to use the brush on the rest of your hair and it is worth it in the end if you learn how to do this so I have just rolled it up and I've left it sitting there for a minute and now I unroll it slightly and then I'm just pulling forward and we've got that nice flip you don't have to do a Velcro roller, but I'm going to do Velcro rollers to let it cool in the shape that we blow dried it. So this is sort of a medium sized Velcro roller. I'm going to go right down to the ends, lifting up, okay, because lifting up is going to help get as much volume in that root as possible. If you pull forward more, you're not going to have as much volume. We're going to roll down and secure that on. And now we have our back section. And this section, we're not gonna roll forward. We're gonna take this section, we're gonna put it behind the hair, and we're gonna roll it away from the face and forward, again, creating lots of tension. around your face is very fragile so make sure that you have put in heat protection because those bangs or any hair around your face can break and get damaged just so easily so that heat protection is very very important so then we will use a big velcro roller for this one the bigger size and I do have velcro rollers in my Amazon storefront if you are looking for some um, but pretty much this is the two sizes that I use sort of the medium. This would be about the 45 centimeter or millimeter. I think, I don't know if it's centimeters or millimeters. Whatever size this is, is about the same size as this. And this is the bigger one. And then I am just going to go ahead and rough dry the rest of my hair and then finish it off with either the round brush blow dryer or a round brush. And then we'll take these out at the end. Really quick before I take them out, I just want to say that no matter what length your curtain bangs are, this technique will work. If they're shorter, if they're longer, it'll still work. Um, they aren't probably very much bangs if they're much longer, unless you have super, super, super long hair. If they're much longer than where my curtain bangs sit, then they probably aren't really bangs, more like short layers around your face. But you can wrap your layers from around your face up like this as well to get a nice swooping effect. So we're just gonna take them out. If you ever get your Velcro rollers stuck, the key is first of all to make sure that they didn't go in tangly, the hair was nice and smooth, and you didn't create any mess or tangles as you rolled it up. And then as you pull it out, I usually just stick my fingers in and pull forward. I try not to unroll them, I just slide, and the hair is gonna slide through the roller almost like a comb. And same with this one, we're just going to pull light tension and then we'll just take our fingers through and there we go. So you can see you get that nice lift of volume around your face from having that front roller going that way and then you're going to get this nice swoop to the sides from that roller that went that way. They come out so pretty, so voluminous, so effortless every single time. And it's really just that one quick step before you finish off your blow dry. And yeah, they look amazing. You can flip your hair to the side. They will still sit great doesn't matter center part side part that is my absolute favorite way when I want to put just that smidge more effort into finishing my bangs that little bit of more effort really does just make them look that little bit better and that shape because you let it set completely in that roller until it was fully cooled down will really really last all day for you Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I hope this helps. I hope you have learned how to style your curtain bangs or your short layers around your face. 
and let me know in the comments how this works for you or just say hi because I love to hear from you guys. Like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos because I do post three a week and it really helps me out when you subscribe and like my videos and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss any of my new posts. Bye guys.